As the sun rises over the northern region of Ghana, a glimmer of hope can be seen on the orange-pink horizon. Mother Nature provided fertile earth with one hand and washed away roads with the other. Soil is now suitable for farming, but obstructed roads make it impossible to pass. When accessing the market is your key to survival, how do you get there? When the path you walk or ride motorbikes on are flooded, how do you cope? Bogotanga's trading market is the hub of all commercial transactions. It is where its people come to sustain their lives. Journey with the team to the village of the Opal Taba Weavers, where we learn the challenges they face in a volatile climate and economy. From May until September, the rainy season provides lush green pastures and much needed shade. This five month window is the time the villagers make money before the dry season. Shaded under a bobab tree, is the workstation of the Opal Taba Weavers. The straw used to make baskets are not here in Bolga. They buy the straw from Kamasi and we will go and buy from them. We stress to buy the straw because we cannot afford to go there to buy the straw at wholesale prices. Since they go to Kamasi to bring the straw here, they increase the price, so production cost increases too. That is the stress we are going through. There is straw here in Bolga, but it's not enough, so it sells out at the market. There are other weavers in Bolga who also buy the straw brought from the villages in Kamasi. If you don't have enough money to buy while they are in stock, you might not get any because other weavers are rushing to buy. The straw from Kumasi are good, but they are expensive because the demand for it is high. Depending on the price you buy the straw and the price you sell the baskets, you might not make much profit. Your profit depends on the cost of your materials, the price of your baskets, and if the market is good or not. Once purchased and twisted into ropes, the straw is submerged into a dying solution. The dying process takes four days to complete. After the dyeing process is complete, the foundation of the basket is started. Bring my slippers, let me show you how the twisting process is done. Can you see what I'm doing? This is the twisting process of the straws. This process can take three weeks or more, depending on the quantity of straws you have to twist. It takes me six weeks to twist two bundles of straw. After the twisting process is done, each strand is released from its rope. After the releasing process is done, a dye solution is prepared depending on the type of color you want. First of all, 
you will lay a foundation that is the process I am going through for this particular basket. Mm -hmm. Can you see? After the foundation is laid, depending on the type of basket you are making, you will start the stem process until you get to the edge of the basket, which is the brim. Can you see? We like to listen to music and entertain us and motivate us while leaving. Sometimes our kids come and help twist the rope to help us work faster. If the kids help me, I am able to sell my basket. I buy them chips or biscuits to help motivate them to continue helping me and also to cheer them up. Sometimes they interrupt me to ask for chips, but I let them know if they allow me to focus, I can finish the basket to sell, and with that money I can make I can buy them chips. This helps to calm them. I try to encourage them to help even though it is very difficult to twist and release the straws so I bribe them with chips. Mm. The basket work is not easy and we do not make a lot of money from it. But this is what we know how to do. And if we don't do it, we wouldn't eat at all. Yeah, 
อย่าอย่าเนี่ยอันนั้นร้อนอืมอะSailors haggle with the weavers for the lowest cost, so that they may sell the baskets at a profitable markup to retailers. After the wholesalers buy the baskets, they are brought to a warehouse, where they are turned into beautiful finished accessories, adding decorative trims. They are then packaged and shipped to retailers in bulk. My name is Abolga Edmo. I'm from Bolga. What we have here is Bolga basket, and we they are very good for a lot of things, for shopping, a lot of stuffs. We have the local hat, a lot. We have a lot here. There are different types. There are different types of uh, basket we do here. We have the round basket, the mini basket, the u s o p a r We have a uh, laundry basket. We use some to make fans. You know, a lot. The straw can do a lot. We have a lot here, and then bread basket. I wish you people would come down to look at what we have in Upper East in Borga here. Yeah, and. When we we we, we get gather them like that, the process of finishing them, we put leather on their hands like this. Put leather on their hands like this, and after that, I think this one we put the leather here. See that look beautiful. They look beautiful. You see how it is. You see how it is. We put the leather on the handle, and then it will look attractive. You see. That's fun. And after that, I think this one is ready for market. Yeah, we have all of the things here. The handles are uh, the round basket. The same thing we do it 
on the handle side. So when you put it down, it look attractive, very nice. You can hold it, look soft. It's very good. A woman here use it for shopping and stuff, you know. A lot of things. That is what we use first. Almost half of the women in Borga do weaving. Yeah, so, but the market is not gets there like that. So we can't, we should come down, get, buy for assets so that the woman here and the children will survive, you know. We need your help, you know. So what we have here is totally original, nice. So I will urge all of you to come down here, then get something nice for yourself.